Hello and welcome to ITNs. So till now we have learned quite a new features about the functions, right? And uh, we know how we can define a function, how we can call a function, what is argument, what are variables, and what is the difference between the argument and variables. We also saw about how we can create lambda functions, and then uh, we did um, a session on the recursive sessions, uh, recursive uh, functions. Sorry. And then uh, in the last session, we covered about the difference between global scope and the local scope of a variable, right? Now, we have, we have learned about the functions. We are going to now use that knowledge and we have to now create working on modules. Is it uh, possible that we can create our own modules? Well, we'll see in this session. But I mean, before we move on to this session, I would actually want to bring to your attention that we had used um, uh, in the previous sessions, we had uh, seen the example of importing a module, right? Now, in this session, what we're going to do is, uh, like uh, in the earlier session, we had seen uh, importing the module that we used, which was the inbuilt module of uh, Python, right? Now, in this session, what we're going to do is, we are going to create our own modules. Python supports that. We can create our own modules and then we can utilize them in our program. Right, so this session is very important to understand what is modules and how we can create our own modules. Right, we'll start with a very basic one and then we will move to the uh, more uh, exhaustive ones. Yeah, great. Um, so if you're enjoying these sessions, uh, please do click on the subscribe icon and if you're liking my videos, do click on the like button. So all these sort of things helps me in motivating and uh, providing the uh, videos. Uh, uh, updates uh, in the real time yeah great i'll see you in the session then thank you Welcome back. So in this session, we are going to look at creating and importing custom modules in Python. Also, we'll see different techniques to import and use custom and built-in modules in Python, right? So let's start with the uh, with understanding what are what is modules in Python, right? So modules refer to a file containing Python statements and definitions, and a file containing Python code. For example, calculate.py. Uh, it's called a module and its module name would be calculate right so we use modules to break large programs into small manageable and organized files furthermore modules provide reusability of codes so we can define our most used functions in a module and import it instead of copying their definitions into different programs yeah so what it means is like when you're creating a module it becomes very easy for utilizing those modules in your various codes instead of writing the uh, instead of defining the function in each and every code of whichever you're going to write right so so let us create a module and see i mean before we uh, before we do that let me actually show you an example of a function right so we have seen this uh, a small example on the functions that we have created yeah this is uh, the function uh, which I've created uh, already to save time. So it is going to accept a value x, uh, the integer number, and y, the integer number, and then it is going to, this is how we have defined uh, the function. Um, function name is multiply, and it's going to take two arguments, and then the result will be x into y, and then it is going to print the result. Yeah? Great. Now let's see. Um, let's run this program and see the output. What happens? Okay. Uh, let me maximize the screen. And what it is asking me to do is it's asking me to enter a first number. So let me enter 75. And then I enter the second number 10. And then it has actually taken those two numbers. Now what I'll have to do is I'll have to call the function. So for that, multiply is the function name and then x comma space y yeah now 
you got the output as 750 now just imagine that you have to write a code and you want to use uh, the similar sort of a function are you going to use this um, are you do you want to write this code every time or you want to make this as a module and you, you can utilize this part of uh, the code in your uh, multiple codes right so that's how we are actually that's what we are trying to achieve so what we'll do, what I'll do is I'll actually hash this out okay so it becomes a very generic one so I'll, I'll hash this out I'll comment it now I'll do a control s and I've already saved this file as calculate.py okay so this is now become a function yeah uh, this is now become a function uh, uh, with the uh, function name as multiply and the file name is uh, calculate.py that is actually a module right now we can actually import uh, the module right I mean let's see how we can uh, do the import of this module or what you can do is best is what we can uh, actually add out here is we can add one more function uh, def add result this equals to x plus y so I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the reason why uh, now in this what is what I've done is I have actually created two functions the calculator.py is the name of the file and the name of module right in that there are two functions one is to multiply and the another one is to add correct so I let me click on uh, control s and uh, let me open the idle okay so I'm back on my idle so what I have to do is I first have to import okay let me actually go back and um, let me control save and then run this program once so that uh, actually yes yeah so it has actually this is this process it has actually reloaded the calculate.py module okay let me copy this part to save time so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to import this module okay so that's all we have to do okay now in this yeah now in this there are two functions right and one is for multiply and the another one is to uh, add right let me use the multiply function 5 comma 6 okay and then yeah I got the output now I can use the same uh, module 5 comma 6 and I got 11 so what I've uh, demonstrated out here that in the same module I have two functions one is for multiply and the another one is to add and both of them I was able to call quite easily right great now since we know how we can import the module and we can use the various functions now let's do some more practice for example I'll let me uh, start uh, with the inbuilt module of uh, Python so for that I will do import math and then um, I'll uh, do print the value of pi and then um, math dot pi yeah <clears throat> all right now when when I run this program I'll get the output of uh, the value of pi all right let's see yeah so the value of pi is 3.14.15 so that's how you can actually utilize your inbuilt program and um, or any 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 module I mean that's how we can actually utilize it I mean for example uh, the earlier ones which where we created the calculate module right we could have done this uh, import calculate print the value of uh, two numbers is uh, calculate dot uh, multiply or calculate dot add and then you would have got the required output right great now uh, now is there any other way that we can actually import uh, this uh, module right 
can we can we do uh, in a different way i mean if is it possible that we just import only pi instead of the entire uh, entire one here right now as you can see here we are importing the entire module of math right now is it an, is it possible that we can import only a certain parts uh, that is for example only pi out of a math module right so for that what we need to do is we need to actually run the command from math import pi all right now now if i just type pi out here i'll get the value of pi yeah or if you have to uh, type this command here let me show you that control c control v and then here i don't need to type math.py it's just pi yeah so that will also give me the output yeah the value of pi is this one because you don't you have already imported the specific portion of the module right you don't you have uh, already imported the function pi function from math module right so you don't have to um, worry about typing math.py all right so now uh, is it possible that we can rename the uh, module uh, is it possible that way because by default the module is uh, math right but is it possible to rename it yeah let's try let's see import math s m all right so then in that case what happens is i've already now i've imported the module math it's the same i've imported the module math as m so that actually helps me in saving uh, my typing times yeah so now what happens is do i need to type math or just m.py well it's just m.py because we have already renamed that module for this particular code and it's going to be m.py so here the value of pi is so it works right now the other way of doing uh, this one is for example if i have to import the entire uh, all the modules right um, then is, is there a possibility that we can import as a wildcard well yes we can do that like from math import star okay and then you print uh, let me actually copy it from the top so that it uh, saves time uh, I can print directly here I mean I don't need to um, say it's the same right I mean I have here I have imported pi function right out of the math module it's same so now I what I've done is I have imported all the functions of math module right so I don't need to specifically call the math uh, function so a math module right so it's it's this one also will give me the output right let's have a look yeah so we got the output and we did got the output without typing math dot pi though So math.py will also work but I mean why to uh, spend time on typing right when it's already there but um, I would want to actually uh, give you a hint here in this example where we have imported star we have imported all the definitions from the math module right this includes all names visible in our scope except those beginning with the underscore I mean that is that is the private definitions in the module right but please note that importing everything with the asterisk or the wildcard is not a good programming practice. We should be avoiding this because this can lead to duplicate definitions for an identifier. It also hampers the readability for the code, right? Okay, great guys. So I hope you were able to get along nicely on this session and you were able to understand on your uh, on the modules. And I hope you will be creating your own your uh, your own modules and utilizing them uh, going forward yeah great uh, that's all for this uh, session guys um, and uh, before i end the session please do subscribe to the channel and 
hit on the like uh, button uh, that will help uh, me in preparing more videos and coming up with the uh, new videos uh, almost daily right great um, that's all guys uh, until next time have a great day keep watching and keep learning thank you